You're either the RBG I player, obviously. So Chris um, wanted me to uh, review the very good um, performative documentary uh, teleplay and um, God on Trial, and I watched it, and it was really, really good, really powerful. Yeah, just um, yeah, amazing, and I thought there were some brilliant performances in it as well. Um, but I'm not going to review it because it's quite a, a serious. Um, emotional, important subject, and that's not what the RBG I play is about. So I'm going to review Dawn Goes Lesbian. Text that and stuff. Little. Um, so it was a, a, a BBC Three a documentary. Doc documentary. What is a documentary? Documentary. It was a thing documenting a woman trying to become a lesbian. Now. I was reminded of the line in Fight Club, uh, I'm going to misquote it because I can't pronounce things in American accents, but um, sticking feathers up your ass does not make you a chicken. So um, it started off with the usual stereotypes and so I look at, uh, oh, yeah, it goes kissing, oh, but you men don't like that and stuff. There's this idea that men like to see women kissing other women and... <laughs> And stuff anyway, but uh, but women are more open to having a fluid sexuality, are they? Uh, my experience of women, oh no, not like that, not like that. <laughs> no, um, to my mind, women are more conservative than men in their thoughts or in the way they act. So, but anyway, this program started off with horrid cliches. It really did. It was it, it was awful. But um, I got notes. That's I got. I made notes. That's why I'm not glancing down at my crotch. I'm, that's, I'm not doing that. But um, she, she started off, did this lady called Dawn. Dawn goes lesbian. Dawn. Uh, less risk. Anyway, a little office reference there uh, about Dawn. Um, she started off by writing on a large whiteboard these rules about avoiding men and stuff. I don't know how lesbian, lesbians avoided men. That's strange. Um, but she couldn't even write straight. Even right straight, yeah. Mm. So anyway, she was talking to a sister who's who's had uh, who's bisexual or something, and um, she she asked her sister. So yeah, yeah. So have some of your friends been straight and uh, and, um, and and then become gay? And her sister was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And she was like, uh, how many? And her sister went, lots. So very accurate there. So lots, lot majority. Mm. Anyway. A cat. Her cat was called Lilu. There was a woman who rang up Six Music a few months back whose cat was called Lilu. Just, just letting you know. Oh yeah, this uh, this a woman who was doing the documentary was a patronising shite. She was awful, awful. Um, I didn't, I, I didn't realise this before. But, uh, but gay, gay people are just normal people as well. That's strange, isn't it? She at one, but she it, it was. I do find with a lot of these documentaries that are seemingly about women, whatever that means, and um, that that it's usually cast men in a negative light. But that's to my mind some sort of delusion. And um, she said she said that um, sistership, camaraderie, giggling these are all the things she enjoyed with you know friendships with girls. But sistership, well, that's just the same word as friendship camaraderie and giggling, you have that with every friendship. If you're not getting that from every friendship, oh, you're missing out, love, you know, men and women. They mentioned the Kingsley scale, obviously, without mentioning his name. Um, there was one point where she was kissing a lass, the lass looked like Noel Fielding, so, you yeah. uh, know. Throughout was, um, there was the music from True Romance, which was quite contrapunctal uh, when, uh, when it was played while she was inserting a, a probe to measure her stimulation um uh, you know for some you know anyway and um <laughs> and at one point she asked the girl in a bar will you dance with me and the girl said yeah why that was always nice um but um but yeah at one point she put on a hat and a big shirt and trousers and trainers and thought that that would help her become a lesbian Fucking bollocks anyway Oh yeah, for bollocks, she had like a lemon stuffed down her front. 
So that was uh, Dawn Goes Lesbian instead of God on Trial.